we've been doing all kinds of sandblasting of parts and we're getting near the end finally of small components. Uh, these are mufflers because when the air is released from a brake cylinder it comes out with quite a blast so I guess because uh, the locomotive worked within the town in Sanford they objected to the noise they made so they put uh, mufflers on to keep that sound down. I don't know just what's inside of here. We may take it apart to, to see uh, and then clean it all up. I'm, I'm sure they never painted it. It's mostly oil that, that's protected it. Uh, because they had to uh, push some cars up a hill in Sanford, um, over, going over, over towards Springville, they had to go up a hill and then down in the mills there were some hills. They had to have sanders. And under the corner of the locomotive was a hopper full of sand. Here is, they would blow air in. The sand would fall down into a little pocket here, but there's a, a, a little barrier right here. So when they put air in here, it would blow that sand up over and down and it would drop onto the rail, giving traction for the world motor, which it wouldn't have otherwise. This one, someone has done some work on. This one is ready for sandblasting and so forth. And this is the, the air intake for the air compressor. It's a filter. I don't know how effective it was, but uh, you can see it's led a hard life. It's been brazed on here. We found quite a few things that were kind of roughly brazed together uh, to keep the thing going yet another year or week or however long that they had. And so we'll clean that all up and paint it with the black. But we're, as far as the small components, why we're getting very near the end of all this. And it's taken lots and lots of happy hours standing at the sandblaster, willing and maybe not so willing volunteers, but thank goodness it's, uh, it's pretty well done now.